Guess he has to come back at 3 o'clock to get sworn in. Uh. Welcome back to our second live. On our last video, we took you out of chronological order to bring you our video review of our first Airstream International Rally. But we're missing some timeline here, so let's catch you up. <laughs> we were able to spend Christmas and New Year in Georgia, catching up with our family and friends. So it's New Year's Eve, and we are parked on our sweet friend's driveway. She's having a party tonight. We get the beautiful option of just heading to our home on her driveway at the end of the night. Set up a sweet spot for everyone to hang out. The rig is all decorated and cute. Full-time travel can take its toll, so being able to stop for a month or two and catch up on simple tasks is much needed. Uh, first day of the year, give her a good bath. We've not had a chance to wash her since Pennsylvania in June because most campgrounds do not allow you to wash your rig. Whereas our sweet, beautiful friend has said, why don't you give her a bath? Help yourself. I'm drinking a mimosa because I'm celebrating. Because today is the day I go for my citizenship interview and I'm very excited. I know. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. So it's only been, what about? Nearly 14 years that I've been here. Right. But I, I applied for my citizenship in March 2021. Right. So it's taken this long to get the interview. Right. And then there was talk during COVID of them allowing you to swear in that same day but I don't know if they're gonna do that some places have gone back to calling you back in two or three weeks later for a swearing in ceremony so I could end the day as a citizen but we won't know until I'm in my interview yeah all right so excited it's do or die time I know I'm so excited <laughs> so excited I'm I'm not at all nervous because I'm so prepared right You've studied your butt off. I mean, you, you, you know, you did the practice test of a hundred questions, and I get them all right every time. Get them time. all right every time. So they're only going to ask me ten questions, and I have to get six right. I'm so extra. I'm going to be going. Uh uh. No, give me more. Give yeah, me more. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so. I'm so excited. Oh. Well. Deborah just walked in, and of course I'm not allowed to go in there with her. Uh, but they said it's about a 20 minute turnaround, so hopefully she gets, um, you know, past it with no problems, and uh, we'll see when she comes out how they went. Guess he has to come back at three o'clock to get sworn in. Uh, you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you're allowed to watch the panoramic windows apparently you're not allowed in oh so okay. it's not allowed in the building but can watch from the panoramic hey. tomorrow's still a mystery don't worry about what you wear or eat just stop and smell the roses nothing here is guaranteed but the love surrounding you and me will hold us together So no firm plans right now, but that's about to change. After a few dinners with some dear friends, we made a plan to travel together to their hometown of Ventura, California. Meet our traveling companions for the next three months, Kim and Eric in the Adventure Palace. 
we are finally leaving and back on the road. So exciting. So exciting. We're heading to Alabama to start with, um, to DeSoto State Park, which has lots of waterfalls. And we are traveling uh, for the first three months. We're actually traveling with some dear friends of ours that we met um, in Texas in school at the NRVTA. So we're all traveling together. It means that Kevin and Eric can do some work on the road together. Um, but it's going to be fun. We are heading, we're heading out west. This is exciting. Come with us. Our first stop on our trip out west is northern Alabama. We can highly recommend DeSoto State Park, although the sites are quite sloped, making leveling a bit of an issue. We're having technical difficulties, and the leaning is quite excessive. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what I'm doing with a paint stick off the side of my hair stream. This is called a Weeboos up there. It takes a cellular signal there, brings it down this cable, goes into the rig, into a booster, and then sends it to another little antenna which disperses the signal inside the airstream. So we can take one bar to about three bars of a, of a you know, internet signal. Now we've lived in the Airstream for a year, we have some alterations that I think can make everyday life a little easier. Fortunately for us, Eric is very handy and was able to make sliding drawers for us so that accessing the pantry is easier. Kevin also has a project that he wanted completed and found a welder who was able to attach this cargo carrier to the back of the Airstream, giving us extra space to carry the outdoor kitchen. We had some good company here. Yeah, great company. We're camping with two lots of friends. We've got our friends there, Kim and Eric, who we're staying with until at least April. Yeah, I hope so. And then um, our other friends, the other side of them, Russ and Sheila, yeah. showed up and surprised us, which I was know. so lovely. Yeah. Oh, let me show. Oh, yeah. Did you uh, that the other day, did you? Uh, I did, but this is the finished product. I just got to do some more. Um, uh, I want to put a bar here to kind of stabilize this a little bit, uh, although it's good. But we did get this in the DOT compliance uh, within four feet. And it's going to carry some stuff, so we're excited about that. Our first stop is a Harvest Host. And this is the Alabama Music Hall of Fame, which ironically, we were just at um, Fort Payne, which is the home of the band Alabama. The Alabama Hall of Fame is located in Tuscumbia and was opened in 1985. Artists such as Lionel Richie, Nat King Cole, Percy Sledge, Hank Williams, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Tammy Wynette are all honored here. And for those of you who dream of the spotlight, you can even record your own single. We've told you before how much we love Harvest Host, but there is nothing so wonderful as Harvest Hosting with friends. Mississippi! Yay! Welcome to Mississippi. 
We're finding ourselves in a hotel room instead of in Betty May. We're a bit sad. Yeah. But we'll explain more tomorrow. After an evening in the casino, we experienced another dip. As we turned the key in the lock, we felt the tumblers break and there was nothing we could do that late at night. Can we prise the door? Can we prise the door? Like no. get something in there and prize it? No, because you just damage everything. Okay. I'm going to let Eric help you. Oh, yes! Okay, so they've drilled out the lock. Despite the dip, this casino was a decent place to stay. We like staying in casinos, especially if we're wanting to be close to a town and are unsure of the area. Casinos always have a lot of security, plenty of lights, and you get to enjoy the casino bars and restaurants, as well as their pools and hot tubs. All a short walk from your home, and who knows, you may win some money. We're heading out to a Harvest Host called Papa's Pecans. So we'll see you there. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a startling amount of water um, all on the fields. Take me down to the river where the peace won't run dry. Gather round at the river where my soul comes to life and I come alive. Freedom, freedom, freedom for my body, soul. Papa's pecans after a very peaceful evening. Really great harvest host. And now we're off to um, a state park in Oklahoma. We're basically beelining it to Roswell, New Mexico. And we're actually making a change. We were coming along I-40, gonna go through Amarillo, Oklahoma City, Amarillo into Santa Fe. But there's weather coming in, so we are dropping down below the weather. <clears throat> so we're going to go down towards um, Lubbock, Texas, and across to Roswell, New Mexico. Um, and we're going to be basically spending all this week just doing one nights, one nights, one nights until we get to Roswell. And then we'll stay for a couple of nights so that we can have fun checking out the aliens. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's very different for us. Normally I have everything all booked and ready to go. So this is fun. And I'm not sure, would we have the uh, confidence to do this by ourselves if we didn't have Kim and Eric with us? Uh, probably not. But um, when you travel in tandem, you know, it's safety in numbers. So yeah. I just feel, you know. We're even staying one night in a rest stop, which we've never done before in Texas, but we read the reviews on Campendium and they people say it's a really nice rest stop. Simple. So yeah, definitely wouldn't have the confidence to do that without them. It's fun. It's it's fun. Right, we'll see you there. Yeah. Oh, Arkansas. Oklahoma. It's okay. Oklahoma, Texas. Texas! Welcome to Texas. Woohoo!
drive through the night to lay underneath the stars. Feels like I'm dreaming to be wherever you are. So this is something totally new for us. Um, we'll not be unpacking today because we are staying one night in a rest stop. We're on the side of the road, side of uh, Highway 82 in Texas. Nice rest stop area. And here's where we're gonna stay tonight definitely outside of my comfort zone but kind of fun look how beautiful this is it's almost otherworldly I'm so excited to be going out west the further out west we get the more alien like the country is and I love it Thank you so much for watching our video and if you've enjoyed it please give it a like and maybe consider subscribing to our channel and please leave us a comment if you enjoy Harvest Host and let us know where your favorite places are. For now our journey continues to New Mexico. Join us on our next video and see if we find those aliens.